This is Did You Do It? It's 12.51 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, July 21st, 2018. And we're looking at the earth.nullschool.net website. And this is how they'll give it to you if you if you go to that website. What I'm going to do is open up the earth uh, window. And they give it to you in the air mode. The, surf, the height of it they're showing you is on the surface. And they give it to you with the wind. And the colors you see here have to do with the wind speed and not the temperatures at all. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it on 10 HPA. Well, no, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back to the surface. And I'm going to go on the ocean. Here's the real the reason why I started to come here, sea surface temperatures. And I was actually uh, wanting to verify Hudson Bay's anomaly uh, on their water temperatures. So I went to earth.nullschool.net, see what they had to say about that. Well, I went over here and I spun the globe around. And I zoomed in on it a little bit, and it shows that it's probably more accurate at this time. You know, the darker blues are the cooler temperatures and whatnot, so I'm cool with that. But there's something I noticed on the null school here I wanted to show you. I'm going to take you over to the uh, air again, but I'm going to go up to the 10 HPA, and I'm going to keep it on the wind. And what I'm and what you're probably thinking is, well, what's 10 HPA? So I'm going to show you. According to this, this is the uh, well, fundamentals of aviation meteorology website or whatever. And 10 HPA is about a hundred thousand feet. Well, what's a hundred thousand feet mean? Okay, let's check that out. Hundred thousand feet is about 30 kilometers. Okay, 30 kilometers high. That's that's where that 10 HPA is. Well, what else is up there? Well, look at this. The lower, the lowest level, the bottom of the ionosphere is at about 32 mi uh, 32 miles miles high. Okay, so the cavity in between the Earth's surface and the bottom of the ionosphere is where the Schumann resonance is uh, kept track of. Okay. Well, this is where we're talking about, right in this area, everything I'm going to show you. Let's go back to Earth.null school. I'm going to spin the globe around again. We'll keep that on air and wind. Get rid of that it's clutter right now. I'm going to zoom back out. And, well, I'm sorry, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to go to the uh, temperature first. All right, now. What I'm noticing about this is it's just a slow, slow, this is the wind flow pattern, but these are the temperatures. This is what I like to do sometimes. You can click on this, any place, that green circle will show up, and over here will give you information about that, uh, that uh, area. 42.7 degrees Celsius. Let's pay attention to the, the uh, temperatures. Now I'm going to move northern in latitudes, click at a time, and watch what happens. 42.7, 42.6, it's getting warmer actually, 41, it's getting warmer, 40, it's getting warmer, the more north you go, it gets warmer, 38, warmer, 36, warmer, 35 Celsius, warmer, 33, 32, 31, and right at the North Pole, it's about 31 degrees Celsius, huh. let's see, Where's that at? Where, what the hell's uh, 31 Celsius? Well, minus 31 Celsius, right? Okay, where's it at? There is about, that is equal to minus 23.8 Fahrenheit. So let's go back here. Now, on the edge, which was close to the equator, it's 43. So what's that? minus 45 degrees Fahrenheit so let's go back over here now let's go to the South Pole and check the same look at the dark blue temperature wow what's a what a temperature difference here let's see check the edge 41.9 degrees Celsius now over there it kept on getting warmer okay now watch this 44 well that's getting cooler we have 54 Celsius below getting cooler 
60 what the heck huh 60 below that's uh shit that's 76 fahrenheit below zero let's go back over there and the closer to the south pole you get 68 it's getting colder and colder 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 at the south pole 85 degrees below celsius 85 degrees, minus 121 degrees fahrenheit I'll be damned. That's the temperatures. Okay. Now, let's just check out the wind. Okay. Now, I'm going to get rid of that. It's clutter for now. North Pole. Or looking from the north. Okay, just moving around gingerly. Now, the reds are the higher winds and the blues are the cooler, slower. This is the most uh, extreme difference. So, let's go to the edge. 43 kilometers an hour. 140 kilometers an hour in the red. 119. It's getting slower and slower as it goes to the green. Slower, 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 slower. 26. Closer you get to the North Pole. Basically, it goes down to like no wind at all there. Now let's check out the South Pole. South uh, Hemisphere. Well, look at all that wind. Holy shit. Let's start out the edge. 38 kilometers an hour, 31, 61, 97, 135, now it's just getting faster and faster, 228, 238, 247 kilometers an hour. Now remember, the fastest wind speed over here was 141 kilometers an hour, as in, opposed to over here. As you work closer to the South Pole, 219, 310 kilometers an hour, 338, 305, 338 kilometers an hour. You get to the South Pole, and it's down to like zero. So, I mean, this is just something cool. And to move this globe around, you use your mouse and you use your uh, left click button. And you just uh, hold it and press it down and, you know, move it all around and... But uh, this is a real cool website. You can do a lot with it. But like I said, 10 HPA, that's, uh, that's 100,000 feet, or about 30 miles. And it happens to be at the, uh, the cavity between the Earth's surface and the bottom of the ionosphere. That's where it's at, at the top of that. It's at the bottom of the ionosphere is where, uh, where we're looking at, 10 HPA. But, uh, pretty cool. Thought I'd share that with you. I don't know. Okay, here, okay here's, what, here's what I'm thinking. Let's go to the temperatures real quick. All right. Now starting at the South Pole, that's 84 degrees Celsius below zero at 100,000 feet. You, the more northern latitudes you go, it gets warmer and warmer and warmer and warmer and warmer. Of course, it gets warmer all the way to the edge. And it gets warmer and war warmer and warmer and warmer. See what I'm saying? Warmer and warmer and warmer. Keeps on getting warmer all the way from the South Pole to the North Pole. North Pole, 31 degrees centigrade. Nor okay, so North Pole is 23.8 degrees below zero Fahrenheit and the South Pole is at minus 83 minus 117.4 degrees Fahrenheit so what's the difference here 23 to 121 shit that's not like a 90 90 some degree difference who knows that's a humongous difference folks earth.nlschool.net Every page I opened up, I'll give you a link in the uh, in the edited description. Did you do it?